in this video, I'm going to talk about action preparation and performer characteristics. Um, so the most important is the alertness of the performer. Um, so alertness influences the time the performer takes to prepare an action and the quality of the action itself. Um, so more alertness is going to mean less reaction time because there's less uh, time required for preparation of the action. Um, and then also the quality of the action itself. So how accurately was that action executed essentially? Um, so alertness is especially important in two specific situations. The first is uh, reaction time tasks that require little waiting and require a fast, accurate response. Um, so like the different color light bulbs turn on and you respond by pushing the correct button. So not a lot of waiting in between and then we need a fast, accurate response. Uh, after those stimuli. And then the second task is where fast, accurate responses are important, but the go signal occurs infrequently and irregularly. Um, so that could be like playing um, pretty much any sport. Let's take basketball. Um, so in basketball, the stimulus in that case would be your opponent. So um, their movements in one direction or another when you're trying to guard them or whatever it is that you're, you're doing during that uh, play, um, the stimulus is their movement, and that's your go signal, and then you are responding. So more alertness is going to be beneficial because those go signals are infrequent, irregular, and unpredictable. Uh, warning signals also improve alertness. Um, so like if you get a ready, set, go before you start a race, that is a warning signal that the go is about to come. Um, and so that allows the performer to be more alert during that uh, window there, during the four period. Um, so optimally, that time should be between one and four seconds, because if it's too soon, if it's too close to the go signal, uh, then that doesn't give enough time to become alert and focused and ready. Um, and if there's too much time elapsed, that gives too much time for that alertness and focus to sort of drift away before the go signal. Vigilance is the long term maintenance of alertness. Um, so this is very important when signals are infrequent and irregular. And so great example of this is lifeguarding at a pool. So a lifeguard is sitting on their perch and watching the pool and they're looking for signals that somebody in the pool needs help. Um, and so it, they need to remain vigilant. They're maintaining alertness over a long period of time, even when that go signal is gonna be very infrequent because hopefully nobody today is gonna to need help from the lifeguard, uh, but they need to maintain their vigilance and their alertness um, so that if someone does need help, they're able to react and respond really quickly. Um, reaction time increases as a function of the amount of time the person must maintain alertness to detect certain signals. So the longer we must maintain alertness, the slower we are going to be to respond. So the longer the reaction time will be if we've had to maintain alertness for too long of a time. Um, and then also detection errors are going to increase. So the longer we are alert, the worse we're going to be at noticing the go signal and then the slower we'll be at responding to the go signal. Um, lack of quality sleep makes vigilance performance even worse. So um, it's been demonstrated again and again in all sorts of different settings and professions that um, worse sleep or less sleep or interrupted sleep um, really significantly interferes with vigilance performance. So you see that um, in all sorts of like emergency uh, professions. And um, there's a lot of research in those areas that when people are chronically sleep deprived or they've been on, on the job for too many hours without a break for sleep. Um, and so they're being asked to maintain vigilance for all of those hours essentially. Um, the performance becomes worse. And there's a lot of research trying to figure out how to overcome that, but really what it boils down to in pretty much all of those studies is that you just need more and better sleep. There isn't really a way around it, at least not that anyone has figured out yet. Um, so where we are focusing our attention also makes a difference. Um, so when we are alert and we are preparing for action, if we are paying attention to the signal, 
the go signal, the stimulus to start or the movement that is gonna make a difference. So we will have faster reaction time if we are paying attention to the signal. So if you're waiting for the signal and then you know that that's gonna initiate your response, you're gonna respond to that signal, um, then you're gonna have faster reaction time than if you're paying attention to the movement that you are going to respond with. Um, so in either case, whether you're paying attention to the signal or paying attention to the movement that will be required after the signal, the movement time is the same. So it's not to anyone's benefit to focus on the movement because the movement is gonna happen as fast as it does. It's gonna happen the same way, uh, but you're gonna have faster reaction time if you're really focused and paying attention for the signal. So like the lifeguard watching the pool, they are focusing on the signal. They're focusing on detecting people who need help rather than thinking about how they'll respond if they need help. Um, and that's where good training comes in, is that if you're trained well, it should be second nature. The response, the movement that's going to come after the signal, we don't really have to think about that. If we've practiced and rehearsed and, and we know what we're going to do, then it's a matter of paying attention to the signal to minimize reaction time. All right. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.